Okay, folks, so we're going to get into the workout here. Um, it's going to be a weight session, but we're going to follow the 30-30 uh, timing principle. Some of you would have done that with me before um, doing like a Metcon, but you can do it with weights as well. So what we'll do is on the first round, on the first block, there's going to be three exercises. If you're using a combination of dumbbells and kettlebells, have them all nearby and ready. Uh, the, so I'm going to talk you through, if you're using kettlebells and or dumbbells for this, the, the first round is going to be three exercises. The first 30 seconds will be squats with three pulses each time. It'll be one, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. And that's for 30 seconds. Then you get 30 seconds off. Then the second 30 seconds, we'll go on to snatches left. 30 seconds of that. Then we'll rest 30 seconds, and then we'll go on to 30 seconds of snatch right. And that's one round. We'll go on ahead and go back to squats, go back to snatches left, snatches right. So we'll do three rounds of that, so you get three cracks at each exercise. If anyone has a barbell available to them, the first exercise is just gonna be the same thing, but with a barbell on your back. We're gonna do the triple pumps. One, two, three. The second exercise will be barbell hang snatch. Whip it up and over. So just lower the bar down to your legs, whip it up and over one shot, okay? Keep that bar quite light. If you're using the barbell then, the third exercise is gonna be a pause bent over row. So a nice hinge position, pull and pause for a two second squeeze. Pull and pause for a two second squeeze. So, depending on what you're using, what tools you're using, go ahead and grab them. So if you're using kettlebells and or dumbbells, grab a kettlebell or dumbbell for the first set of squats. And if you're using barbell, get the barbell ready. I would keep the barbell light, probably empty for at least your first round and then take it from there. Right, we're ready to go for our first 30-30. Okay. So we're starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds. Triple pumps. Down for pulse, pulse, pulse. Your stand down at the bottom. Pulse, pulse. Pulse. Let me just say this about 30-30 workouts. They are climbers. It'll not be too bad at the start, but you'll feel it eventually. Today is technically a rest day in terms of what you're doing, so don't be afraid to use lightish weights. And there's your 30 second rest. I'm gonna just go and mute you guys. If anyone needs to ask me a question, you can certainly unmute yourself. But for now, I'm gonna mute you all. Okay, so if you're using dumbbells or kettlebells, the next exercise is going to be snatch left. If you're using barbells, it's going to be a power snatch with the bar. Ready? Three, two, one, and away we go. 30 seconds, snatch is left. Don't be afraid to use a weight that's quite manageable. We do want today to be a murder picture. Halfway. Five seconds to go. And that's you. Rest. I say you'll, you'll feel this. 30-30 is a nice way to train with weights. I know we've done lots of it in, this, in the gym with burpees and sprints and all these sort of things where it's all very frantic. It's a nice way. Oh, I'm not getting it that easy. <laughs> Just say it's a nice way to sort of to get some easy-ish weight training done. And if you ever want to just take a day off and do your own, we're going to go five seconds. Here we go. Make up your own workout. 30 30 is not a bad principle to stick to. Halfway. That's time. So we'll do exactly what we just did for two more rounds. 30 seconds off, of which there are 20 seconds left. Is anyone on here using a barbell? Seen a lot of dumbbells so far. 
Okay, next one is going to be back to in six seconds. Goblet squats with a triple pump. Two, one, let's go. There's a buzzer. Pump, pulse, 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 up. Pulse, pulse, up. Pulse, 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 up. Pulse, 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 up. Nearly there, six seconds. Four, three, two, one. And rest. Folks, if you are staying at home full time in the minute, there's honestly no reason to be exercise, no reason not to be exercising a couple of times a day. They don't need to be hour long sessions. In fact, make sure they're not hour long sessions. We've got 10 seconds to go. But a wee 15, 20 minute sweat in the morning, five, and then 30 ish minutes of weights later on. I'll do your lovely most day. The old day you can switch the weights out for just a walk if you like. But I would 100% recommend the exercise twice a day and just keep it all moderate intensity. Doesn't need to be a murder picture. Halfway. And a two. So say anyone is using a barbell, I don't think anyone on the Zoom call that minutes using a barbell, but for any of the ones catching up on this on YouTube, so say keep a lightish barbell on your back for those triple pulse squats. Your hang snatch, you just put your hands as wide as you can. I'll do a round of it now. Right, you guys are gonna be snatch right. The hang snatch. Ready, three, two, one. The hang barbell snatch is down to the knees. Whip it up and over, bring it back down. Nearly there, and that's you, good. One more squat, one more snatch left, one more snatch right. Then we'll skip around, and then we'll go on the next one, which I'll talk you through. Or if you've been looking at the program, the printed program, you'll see. Anyone who's following this in the Zoom call, get ready, we're going in seven seconds. If you have any questions, unmute yourself and ask me. Ready, three. Two, one, away we go. One, two, three. One, three. Halfway. And time. That's your goblet squat, triple, triple pulses done for the day. Next one will be snatch left. Ready, we're going 10 seconds. Last time guys, snatch left. Three, two, one. Last time the left snatch. Nearly there, eight seconds. And Time. You just gotta go on. Your snatch is right to finish this first round. And that'll be that'll have been um, nine minutes. Then we're gonna take a minute and a half off while I talk you through. Oh, I'm trying to trip over. While I talk you through what else we're doing, 
for the next run. I'm gonna let you catch your breath. So we go in five seconds. We ready to get your dumbbell up? Three, two, one. Away we go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. Well done. So, if you're using dumbbells and kettlebells, the next round, block two, is going to be a tile bent over row. So quickly go and get a tile if you need one. I'll grab one to demonstrate. Ideally, you'd use a much smaller hand towel. Ignore that buzzer. We've one minute till we go again. Ideally, you'd use a much smaller hand towel. I just grabbed this because it was sitting there. I'm gonna thread it through the kettlebell. You take your grip pretty close to the bell, getting your bent over row stance, and you're gonna roll your knuckles right into the crease of hips here. So. That's your tall bent over row. That'll be your first 30 second block. Your next 30 cycle block will be single arm press. So whatever dumbbell you choose, strict press it till you can't strict press anymore, then push press. Then the ne next block will be strict presses right till you can't strict press anymore, then push presses. If you're using a barbell, if you're using a barbell, the first one is just gonna be regular bent over row. Last one was a two second pause. It'll just be a regular bent over row. The next one will be a strict military press until you can't go strict anymore. And then you'll push press using the knees. And then the third one will be barbell curls. You'll need to adjust your weight. So you'll have to, I wouldn't clip your weights for using a barbell for this. And um, I wouldn't clip your weights, but you'll go heaviest for the bend over row, sort of moderate weight for the press and push press, and then your lightest for the, for the curls. So, we're gonna pick this up again in 10 seconds. So I know a lot of you guys on Zoom are using a dumbbell or a kettlebell. So get ready for your tall row. If you have two kettlebells, you can also do a dual kettlebell row. That's what I'm gonna do, right? Way we go. 30 seconds. If you have two even or reasonably, that's us time on working. If you have two even or reasonably even weighted kettlebells, you can do the kettlebell row like I was just doing there. Row the knuckles right into the crease of the hips here. Good, give it a good squeeze. If you want to make that a bit harder, keep going. Five seconds. Two, one, and buzzer. Next one, folks, is going to be press. So if you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, use your left hand. If you're using a barbell, obviously you're going to use both hands. So dumbbell or kettlebell, you're ready to go left. We go in 10 seconds. So this will be left side, folks. Strict presses till you can't strict press anymore. And then push presses. Buzzer on, go. If you can, strict press all the way through, please do. Once it starts burning a bit more, you can get the knees involved. I'm time. Next 30 second block, if you're using a kettlebell or a dumbbell, it's gotta be strict press in the push press right. Ready? Three, two, one. Away we go. Curse. If your barbell or press right, buzzer on. That's us. Kathy, for you, you could. I see you're doing lat raises. 
You can switch in a curl if you want it as well. You can do your tall bent rows, then a curl, then your lat raises, or something like that. Maybe there, five seconds. And that's you. Buzzer. Cool, that's the first round done. So if you're using a kettlebell and or dumbbell, it's gonna be a tile row or a dual bent over row, some sort of bent over row. If anyone needs to ask me, just give me a shout. I did dual kettlebell row last time, I'm gonna do barbell bent over row. A lot easier doing tile row. Ready? Three, two, one. Way we go, buzzer on. seconds to go. Three, two, one. Okay, dumbbells or kettlebells, you're gonna go back to single arm press. Left, stay strict for as many reps as you can. And then once so that, that fatigues, you can go to a push press, using that wee dip of the knees to push you on. Going in five, ready? Weights up, three, two, one. And time on. Strict presses first. Ten seconds. This isn't much fun for me today because I did a lot of overhead pressing yesterday. And time. So press is pretty tough. If you're using dumbbell or kettlebell, it's gonna be on to press right. Strict press right. When you can't do the strict, you go on to push press. Kathy, you gonna do some curves or something maybe? I'm gonna do some curves. Ready, five seconds. Three, two, one, away we go. Buzzer on. And buzzer, that's two rounds done. One more to go. So it's gonna be back to dual kettlebell row, which is a bent over row with a kettlebell each hand. You can do it feet wide, you can do it feet in. Or a tile row, or if you're in a barbell, it's gonna be a bent over row. Five seconds, get your weights up. Use your last set of rows, ready? Ah, let's go. Buzzer on. Ten seconds to go. Three, two. One, rest. Oh. So if you're dumbbell or kettlebell, you're gonna be on the presses left. Strict for as many as you can, and then on the push press. Go on in seven. Two. Press left at your kettlebell or dumbbell. A strict press at your barbell.
Keep it up, 10 seconds. And rest. Got to go on to press right to finish off. Or if you're on barbell, you're going to go on to curl. If you need to reduce the weight, do that now. Go on in 10 seconds, guys. Okay, get the weights up. Three, two, one. And rest. We're now have a minute and a half, so we'll go again, guys. So listen up. If your kettlebells or dumbbells, you're gonna go on to a kettlebell or dumbbell Romanian deadlift. You can do swings if you want. Swings are suitable. Um, you know, save a 20 kilo kettlebell for one of the girls. A swing's probably gonna serve you better here than a. Kettle, uh, kettlebell or dual dumbbell Romanian deadlift. If you have a barbell, you're gonna go on to a barbell Romanian deadlift, okay? Then the next one for everyone is gonna be prone swimmers. Prone swimmers, so imagine I'm lying face down on the ground. Hands are gonna interlock behind my lower back, elbows on the ground. I'm gonna lift my elbows as far up as I can, swim round, up overhead, Bring it round behind my hands, or bring my hands behind my head. So that'll be on the ground, hands and elbows high, sweeping round, my hands will turn, they'll come round by my head, sweeping round, back to my lower back. Then, if you're using a kettlebell, you'll do a two-handed clean, into a squat, and then overhead. Two-handed clean, into a squat, into overhead. If you are, if you have a barbell, you're gonna do a burpee over bar. Wait a second, let's start yet. If you have a barbell, it'll be burpee over bar. So, burpee over bar, burpee over bar, okay? This could be our last block. Nine more minutes of work to do, and we'll call out a day, okay? So, Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Romanian deadlift or swings. So that can be a kettlebell, Romanian deadlift, two dumbbells or a barbell, Romanian deadlift or swings. Nearly there. Five seconds. Ah, time. So, think of these prone swimmers as a face down snow angel with hands and elbows as high as you can. You'll come up to here with your knuckles facing down, your fingernails facing down, then you'll have to switch. So your, your knuckles face up and you combine your head like this, okay? So we feel the light up. Three, two, one. Away we go. And you keep going through it. High as you can with your hands and your elbows. Kettlebell, as I say, you'll deadlift it up into the goblet squat position, squat overhead, back down, change hands. If you have a barbell, we're going to do burpee over bar. 
do a burpee, jump over the bar, do a burpee on the other side of it. We go again in 10 seconds, folks. Oh, my sheet's away. Ready? Deadlift position with your kettlebell, felt what you're using. And buzzer on, clean. Squat, press overhead, bring it back down. Clean, squat, press overhead. Okay. Gonna be back to Romanian deadlifts or swings. So, kettlebell, barbell for the RDLs. Really push the hips back, up and tuck your tail, or swings. I'm gonna swing. Ready? And buzzer on. Let's go. And buzzer. We're nearly there. Only five, five more 30 second efforts today. Oh. So if you're, everyone's gonna be prone swimmers. So facing the ground, face down, making that snow angel. It's all about how high can you keep your hands and elbows off the ground. Okay, five seconds. Three, two, one. If you're a barbell, oh, if you're a barbell, it's gonna be burpee over barbell. If you're a kettlebell, be two handed, clean to squat, to press. I suppose I didn't, didn't talk to anyone there with like something like dual dumbbells. The dual dumbbells, you can do a dual dumbbell snatch. Whip them up and over, or clean and press, ready? Go on in, three, two, one. Deadlift position, whip it up. Do your squat, put it overhead, bring it back down, deadlift position, up, squat, overhead, down, deadlift position, up, squat, overhead, down. Oh. 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 Nearly there, time for one more. Oh. Oh. That's you, buzzer. One more round. Three more 30 second stations. Oh. I need a day off, you know? Got the wife dancing in the window here for me. Assisting with professionalism as always. Go on the 10 seconds. Swings. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Last round. Swings or RDLs. Halfway, just past. And that's you. Okay. And we'll be on the prone swimmers.
second video to work out of the day. I still have to do my own training later. Although it may get sacked right ready. Prone swimmers. Ready? There's our whistle. Hands high, elbows high. Swimmer's done. Those with a kettlebell. This will be your whoop. Perfect advertisement why you should use whips. So, be your kettlebell. Two hand, clean to press. Clean to squat to press. Ready? Three, two, this is your last station of day. One. Let's go. Three seconds, last three. And done. Right, folks. Let me just unmute everyone. Okay. Right. Talking to two cameras here. Folks, thank you very much. Thanks for jumping on. Let me know if you're getting any value from these workouts. Let me know what else you want me to do. I'm going to start recording some of the 15, 20 minute morning hit workouts. I'm going to start recording them and uploading them on YouTube so people can sort of do those in their own time if and when they, uh, if and when they see fit sort of thing. Right. So folks, please, anyone, uh, anyone who needs me to do anything specific for them, just give me a shout. Joe, can you text me? Full list of all, can everyone on here just text me? Just like double check, I know some of you have. A full list of what kit you have. I'm just compiling and then basically I can start individually individually programming depending on what kit you have. So if you're watching this video, you're watching this video, send me a full list of kit and I just check it against what I have. So thank you very much. Does anyone want to say in for a killer? Yeah. Right, good on you folks. Thanks a million for tuning in. See you soon guys. Cheers. Uh-huh.